So we contacted Vivor to see if they'd send us a wheelchair. No, we didn't contact Vivor. A oh. friend of mine in an <coughs> old folks place. Um, she can use a powered wheelchair, so I bought one on her money, actually. I'm taking care of her finances for her. And this came from Culver Mobility. It was uh, $688 delivered to Fairbanks, Alaska. I see ones that appear the same, as high as $3,000 you can buy them for the same looking chair um, with different stickers on them. I don't know. It seemed like a reasonable deal. They were claiming that it went through snow a little bit. I don't think it'll go through the 8 to 12 inches we got out here today. Um, anyway, we just figured. I see a lot of reviews and people mentioning these chairs specifically. This is the Artemis. It's an Artemis blue. They have an Artemis black, same thing, different color. Um, and I just see them. They're either ads or somebody that basically says, oh, I got one. Well, here we are. Um, it's not the normal thing for the machine shop, but it, we do have people that watch stuff, and we'll just see if there's interesting, good things. It's pretty blue. Okay. Looks like there's a tool kit too. So, well, I could, f yeah. Let's just do it the easy way. Let's do it the easy, easy way, which was my first thought. The box goes away. Not gonna keep the box anyway, so the box goes away. Kind of surprised how, uh, how together it is. I figured it would be a little bit more of an assembly kit. And the tires looked like Gription tires. Tires are fair size. I, um, uh, I was afraid that the picture was deceiving. Looking at the pictures, that was one of the things I picked. You know, you don't get any that are full wheelchair size in these power wheelchairs. But this was one of the bigger ones, and that was something I was looking for. I'm going to grab a tape and let you people know what the size really is. It is 40 centimeters. Did I say that? It says 40 right there. Are those centimeters? Got to be centimeters. They're not much. <laughs> 16 inches. 16 inch tire. So it's as good as a kid's bike. Folds apart, just like a standard manual wheelchair controller now that was something I had done too was I had made notes to myself I'm hoping that she'll use this for going in and in uh, going outside and doing some of her traveling around that she wants to do and I'm hoping she still uses her manual one for close traveling It'll be a little bit nicer in her room, and it's a little better going into the dining hall, but eventually she'll probably go with this. But I took measurements at the dinner table where she goes. And if I go back here to my notes... Ha, huh, shoot. Somehow I erased all my old messages. I don't know how I did that. I remember erasing one from somebody that was obnoxious, but I had a file I was keeping notes that I was emailing to myself. <sighs> what was the height? I don't remember. I guess we'll just have to worry about it later. It's just not going to be the big concern right now. And they have instructions for how to move this from side to side, which would be those screws there would go to the other side. I think Judy is right-handed, so we'll just start with it up here. <coughs> Should get ready with tools and stuff first a little more. Actually, that one thing over there showed tools in a box. There's probably a screwdriver meant for this right there. 
If all else fails, we will read the instructions. Really. At least one of us will. This one here looked like it had a hammer on it. I bet you that there's a screwdriver and all kinds of stuff without even going across the shop to get real tools. Tool set. Repairing tool set made in China. Look at that. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. One's a countersunk, one's a flathead. That's interesting. Yeah. Is that a countersunk hole on the outside? No. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see it really hurting anything, but it's quite interesting. comes with tools. A 24 VA3 AC with the MI on. I'm guessing it's a charger. Looks like a charger. There's probably they may have or we may ourselves extra zip ties. We're gonna have to figure some way to put a uh, can on here for cigarette butts because that's the main reason why old people they need to go outside is so they can smoke they don't let them smoke inside the facilities and whether it's good for their health or not people that have been addicted that have tried to quit for 40 years ain't quitting just because they're in an old folks home ain't gonna happen my dad smoked right up until he died uh, although he didn't have a Okay, it's probably already got power in it then. She is a little bit smaller than me, so. Uh, yeah. And we have mechanical brakes, but it's supposed to also have electromagnetic brakes. Oh, goes forward, backward. Okay, one thing I'd like to be able to do Okay, there's lower speed. Okay, now it started on lowest speed. I don't really want her to be able to use highest speed, but I don't know that we have a way to outlaw it. It's pretty smooth. Yeah. You just jerk it. That gives it enough time to last. Not bad. We're supposed to wear a seatbelt, but oh well, life goes on. Well, heck. There ain't a whole lot more to do. It's already got a charged up battery. I think that little bit of red, I think, is the discharge level. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I want those right now or not. I was going to. I'm just curious if we just go outside, even though we shouldn't. <laughs> and clear the space was away here. Uh -huh, let's, let's run outside. Here. Let's just see. See how it will do in eight inches of snow. Okay, I'm on the lowest one. Yeah, it's a little. Okay, I'm pop the door open. Let's try the slow snow approach. Okay. Not happy. Are we spinning tires or? Oh, now I'm not in the snow. Okay, let's turn around. It's spinning? Okay, so if I help it, uh, not happy at all. No. If 
I help it going backwards, we can manage to go. I wonder if I'm reading the uh, power level wrong. It seems a little untorquey. We better go to the instructions. Connect battery boxes plugged to the controller. I would think that must have already been done. I would hope so. Because otherwise, why would it work? Yeah. <laughs> uh, something that's kind of, uh, yeah. Install the joystick. We did that. Assemble this. Assemble the foot stand. We didn't do that because use of manual brakes, battery requirements, charger. Puts out 24 volts, battery boxes plug, three pin, charger, requirements, use of charger. Actually changes the torque. I think it just limits the maximum rotation. Yeah, it's partially charged. It's uh, one red is discharged, one green is somewhat charged. Green all the way across is fully oh, okay. charged. So it's always got a red. Interesting. But unless I mean red is like emergency reserve. They say it'll still work, but go home. Right. You know, ask Timmy to go get Lassie. It actually you got to go a little ways in here before it really explains that in the uh, electric power gauge. So we should probably charge it up before we try a little more. Okay. Where do you want to charge this? Um, wherever we got a plug, a cord, we take it back here by the saw again. This thing is actually ridiculously good at navigating over the hoses and everything. Yeah, it, it, uh, yeah. It's not terrible. It's definitely not a four-wheeler, but... Still, for what it is, I'm not sure. Well, yeah, especially the price. That's, yeah. that's the other thing. It was not a it was not a money, money, money option. It was... Uh, and, and there were some of the ones that were higher priced that I looked at, and it wasn't that I had to meet this price. My, my price cutoff was actually $2,000. But what I was looking at, so many of them, that were higher priced had wheels that looked like they were only this big. Right. And I just, for the fact that she may not be out going through eight inches of snow, she's going to go out in stuff that's been marginally plowed off with a little four-wheeler. Um, bigger is better. You better not get any flats from what we got in here, though, too. I imagine that's a standard. What si tire size? We should read that off. Oh. I imagine it's a standard uh, bike tire. 16 by 2.125. Uh, yeah. Well, that's the same size they used to have for uh, little bikes, but they were never pneumatic when I was a kid. They were always solid rubber for the kiddie bikes. Oh. They didn't have pneumatic. They probably probably standard pneumatic bike tire at this day and age, though. <laughs> oh, next next day we charge this up all the way. The instruction manual, which is in English, but I don't think that it's been fully vetted by um, English-speaking Americans. Maybe it was, but uh, had a Spanish section. 
They said that the charger, when it was all through charging, it had little flashing lights on the power here while the, this was on and it was charging. Some of the instructions said to have it turned off. Some said to have it turned on so you could see the flashing lights. They said when it got all done, the lights were all supposed to turn steady green. They never did. So that's wrong. They just continue to flash as long as the charger is hooked up. But if you turn it on now, it has steady green all the way out to the end, so it works. And it does seem to have a little bit quicker torque at the bottom end. It's actually a little faster than I wish it would, even in its uh, slowest speed, considering where it's going to. We'll climb over stuff a little bit. I don't want to climb over a whole bunch of things that will put metal chips in the tires. I think some of them big holes would be a problem. It works. Um, I don't think I like the high speed it can now. Definitely don't want to. I am going to, and we'll uh, probably call Bert back out here. I'm going to figure out how to get in here. Yes, I'm going to avoid the warranty, just the way it is. I'm going to get in here and I'm going to clip the wire to the plus because I, I don't want that. Judy is a slow moving, mature woman. This is the speed she wants. Uh, we'll leave it where if for some reason it decides to go fast, she can still move it slower, but we do not want it to be able to go faster. So I'm going to open up the control. Now they also had talked about it having a manual mode. And I think the manual mode is basically you can move it when the power's off. When the power comes on, now it breaks, electromagnetically breaks. So they didn't really make it clear what they meant by manual or not manual mode switching it, but when it's off, it's, well, there it doesn't seem to be so easy now though. Maybe it's gonna set for a minute. Yep, gotta set for a little bit for the last of the uh, whatever magnetic braking it's got to go out of it before you can freewheel it. So, yes. Yeah, I didn't realize that at first. This has got two of these boxes for batteries, but only one battery. So some other model or alternate battery is going to have more range, apparently. Oh um, my. I don't think we need it. Darn it. We love fancy electronics, but not that much. <sighs> So I cut off the plus for the speed here. I cut off the button on the back of it, which I already had cut off and thought about gluing it back in. There were two little conductive uh, buttons, looked like graphite, that make contact on a board here. Had I carefully taken it apart, I probably could have peeled this whole rubber unit, which is all sealed, probably could have pulled it out and then cut just those buttons off of it, put it back on and had it intact as far as water resistance. As it was, after I cut it off, I used Right Stuff, which is Permatex product I've used on a lot of stuff to feel, fill the hole back in, and I think it'll seal it up okay. Um, so it no longer has a go fast. Comes on with a go fast real quick when you first turn it on, which I don't know why it does that for a second. I wonder if you... Nope, it still goes all the way to slow even with one push at that point. So that's good. That's what we wanted. If for somehow it gets pushed to high, she can still slow it down, but she can't go fast. So that's how that works. And with their computer board, I didn't see it. Uh, we could have probably torn, taken it apart and figured out where to cut out part of the circuit board. I just didn't want to. Um, this makes it where it doesn't go fast. So next point, it will go to Judy and we'll let her have it for a while and see what she thinks of it. 